we're going to be tying my favorite variation of the Frenchie. We're going to be using a Euro style hook along with some orange thread. This in particular is Vivis in size 12 aught. We'll start our thread wraps right behind the bead of the hook. Snap that off and then we'll put in some lead free wire to help keep that bead in place. Helicopter that free and then wrap our thread all the way to the start of the hook bend. From here, we'll build up a small thread dam and grab some pheasant tail. We're gonna use about three fibers, rip those off and measure them to be about a quarter of the hook shank in length. And we'll attach that to the back of our hook. Once we're done with that, we can continue to secure that pheasant tail by wrapping up to the start of our lead free wire. Snap those free and you can see why we added this thread dam. This splays out our pheasant tails and gives it a mayfly like appearance. Next up, we'll grab some brassy wire. Here, we're gonna be using a copper color. Tie that into your hook shank and then we'll wrap it all the way back to the tail of our fly. We'll return our thread to the start of our lead free wire. Grab some more pheasant tail. This time we'll grab about five to six fibers. Snip off the tips and then tie them onto our hook shank. With that complete, we will wrap our thread all the way up to the head of the fly, put in a half hitch, and move our threads off to the side. Now we can begin to wrap our pheasant tail, and we're gonna wrap this almost all the way to the head of the fly, leaving just a little bit of room. Take some thread rats both in front as well as behind, and then snip the excess free. After which we'll grab our brassy wire and start to wrap that up in open spirals. When we reach the head, we'll secure it and then helicopter that free. Next up, we're gonna grab some dubbing. This in particular is a pheasant tail ice dubbing that includes some UV fibers. So we'll create a dubbing noodle and wrap a nice tight dubbing section at the head of our fly. Finishing off at the head of the fly, we'll grab our whip finisher and create quite a strong band at the front of our fly. And this is our completed Frenchie. This is one of my favorite variations to use for brook trout. And if you want to try some of these out for yourself, you can visit my website down below and I'd be happy to tie some up for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.